common thread through all of our work is that we are about improving the lives of vulnerable people. I've been trying to get housing. I'm tired of standing on the street. Yeah. People who have been marginalized, people who have been forgotten, people who have not had a voice or a seat at the table. When we began C4 in 2006, we were really in the business of translating knowledge, of taking what was known and moving it out into wider use, of dissemination and implementation of evidence-based practices. And we continue that work. It's at the core of who we are and what we do. It's important that organizations and communities don't reinvent the wheel every time they're facing uh, a complex problem like homelessness or like a, a broken mental health system or lack of access to detox beds or an opiate overdose crisis. It's important that they look to what is working. Our job is often to identify those evidence-based practices, the things that we know to work, and to scale those up. Technologically, we use a range of approaches uh, from self-paced online learning modules to instructor-led courses to ebooks to multimedia uh, web and mobile applications. Our staff is extraordinary. I think that we invite staff to show up as humans and to show up as vulnerable humans and to share their own experiences or their family's experiences struggling with a lot of the issues that we're trying to solve and that kind of opens the conversation in a way for solutions that we otherwise may not access when we have on our hats as researchers and policymakers and things like that. So being able to kind of bring that chemistry of all those perspectives really changes what we're putting out into the world. They bring a wealth of perspectives. Many are former clinicians and direct service providers, researchers, educators, advocates, designers, technologists. We have a number of staff who are in recovery themselves, and that first-hand personal experience informs everything we do. I cycled in and out of really terrible poverty. I was homeless. I had a very serious and chronic 25-year history of opiate abuse or use. I spent 14 years in a methadone maintenance program. Today, I am an associate with the Center for Social Innovation. Our whole soul comes from this, this piece of lived experience and the desire to, to have a bigger impact and really help improve the, I don't just want to say the health and wellness, I'm saying the entire life of an individual. We not only have people who bring years or decades of experience working as clinicians and frontline service providers and researchers, but we have this multidisciplinary staff that are looking at very complex public health problems from a learning perspective or a scaling perspective or a social marketing perspective. And I think that we need all of those things to solve a problem rather than just one. Um, so being able to have a team like that and working on these problems immediately helps us to have you know kind of more creative more impactful solutions we believe that the work that we do creates ripple effects that changes the fields in which we work the country in which we live and the planet we inhabit mm -hmm.